the EV1000 clinical platform, volume view setup and operation. The EV1000 platform can support Edwards Venus Oximetry technology when used with the Edwards Oximetry Central Venus Catheter, as well as continuous or intermittent cardiac output monitoring when used with the flow track or volume view sensors. Let's review the equipment and procedures to initiate monitoring for each of the above technologies. EV1000 clinical platform and the volume view sensor. The volume view sensor uses transpulmonary thermodilution technology to measure and derive key elements of oxygen delivery, such as cardiac output and volumetric calculations, to assess components of cardiac output, such as preload, afterload, and contractility. In addition, lung water assessments are available that can assist the clinician in understanding lung water's impact on oxygenation. Critically ill patients often deal with imbalances of oxygen delivery and consumption, which leads to organ dysfunction or possibly death. The clinician is faced with the difficult task of using different assessment tools, such as physical assessment, laboratory analysis, non-invasive monitoring, and invasive monitoring, to determine if an imbalance exists and how to best treat it. Transpulmonary thermodilution cardiac output uses the same principles as right heart thermodilution, except the thermal bolus is injected into the central venous system and moves across the right heart, lungs, left heart, and out into the arterial tree, where the thermal change is measured over time by an embedded thermistor on a catheter inserted into the femoral artery. By measuring both a change in temperature over time as well as heat loss of the thermal indicator after crossing the lungs, the volume view sensor can assess flow, volume status, ventricular function, and lung water. Transpulmonary thermodilution with the volume view sensor allows for the measurement and derived calculations of the elements that affect oxygen delivery through intermittent transpulmonary thermodilution cardiac output calibrated continuous cardiac output, intermittent or continuous assessment of systemic vascular resistance, global and diastolic volume, global ejection fraction, as well as cardiac function index. In addition, extravascular lung water, as well as pulmonary vascular permeability index can be used, which may affect oxygenation. The EV1000 volume view system is comprised of the following components. Volume view disposable set, four French or five French catheter. Dressing for femoral arterial catheter per institutional practice. Central venous catheter, IJ or subclavian per institutional practice and patient needs. Sodium chloride flush solution bag, 500 or 1000 milliliters. Heparin per institutional practice. Pressure infuser bag, appropriate for flush bag being used. EV1000 clinical platform monitor with Ethernet cable, bifurcated power cable, and mounting solution. Other necessary cables, including a volume view trifurcated pressure cable, a thermistor cable, and an OM module if Edwards Oximetry Central Venus catheter is being used. Volume view set. The volume view set consists of the following components. Volume view sensor, true wave pressure transducer and thermistor manifold. Volume view femoral arterial catheter kit. Let's look at each of these components in greater detail. Volume view sensor. The volume view sensor is a disposable sensor connected to the volume view femoral arterial catheter for calculation and display of continuous cardiac output, as well as intermittent volumetric calculations calibrated by transpulmonary thermodilution cardiac output, or TPTD. It is connected to the EV1000 clinical platform and the bedside physiologic monitor for continuous measurement and display of the patient's arterial pressure. True Wave Pressure Transducer and Thermistor Manifold the true wave pressure transducer is connected in line with a central venous catheter, or CVC, via the volume view thermistor manifold. These are used to continuously monitor central venous pressure, or CVP, 
on the bedside monitor and the EV1000 clinical platform. The thermistor manifold allows for the injection of a cold bolus through an injection port, as well as the measurement of the bolus temperature with an inline thermistor. Volume View Femoral Arterial Catheter The Volume View catheter is either a 4 or 5 French femoral arterial catheter with an embedded thermistor at the tip used during TPTD. The kit is composed of Volume View Femoral Arterial Catheter, 4 or 5 French, with a removable one-way valve to control back bleeding, 18-gauge thin wall needle, 0.025-gauge guide wire, dilator, scalpel number 11 blade, 30 silk suture with a straight cutting needle. Volume View System Setup Before monitoring can begin, the patient must be prepped with the following. A volume view femoral arterial catheter inserted into the right or left femoral artery. A central venous catheter inserted into the right or left IJ or subclavian vein. Confirm that the following components of the EV1000 clinical platform are present and in good condition. Monitor, data box, mounting solution, ethernet cable between monitor and data box, power cable connected to monitor and data box, Thermistor cable. Optical module if Edwards Oximetry central venous catheter is being used. Turn on the EV1000 clinical platform by pressing the power button on the front of the monitor. Confirm that the data box LED lights are illuminated green. After the startup screen, enter the patient's ID number as well as their biometric data height, weight, age, and gender. You are now ready to set up and prime the volume view sensor and true wave transducer. Insert the trifurcated pressure cable into the green and blue color-coded CO-CVP pressure connection on the back of the data box. Insert the thermistor cable into the black color-coded TD thermistor connection on the back of the data box. Open kits using aseptic technique and check that all connections are secure. Mount sensor and transducer on the data box. Remove and discard fluid administration set on the volume view sensor. Connect the TrueWave transducer's free connection of the bifurcated fluid administration set to the volume view sensor and confirm that the connection is secure. Invert the flush bag to allow air to rise to the base of the bag. Spike flush bag with fluid administration set. Turn the volume view sensor stopcock toward the pressure tubing. While keeping bag inverted, place pressure with one hand on the bag and pull the snap tab flush device on the volume view sensor and transducer. This will evacuate air from the bag and fill the drip chamber halfway or full depending upon institutional preference. Insert flush bag into pressure infuser bag and hang on IV pole. Do not inflate. Turn the TrueWave CVC transducer stopcock toward the pressure tubing. Pull the snap tab and prime the TrueWave CVC transducer through to the vented cap just above the transducer. Pull the snap tab and prime the volume view sensor through to the vented cap in the same manner. Turn the stopcock off to the vented cap on both the sensor and the transducer and flush to the end of the pressure tubing while holding the pressure tubing upright for each component. Pressurize the infuser bag to 300 millimeters mercury. Pull the snap tab flush device for a fast flush and evacuate any residual air. Discard all vented caps in the system and replace with non-vented caps. The above best practice in priming the system will mitigate residual air bubbles. Connect the green EV1000 clinical platform reusable pressure cable to the green connection on the volume view disposable sensor. Connect the blue EV1000 clinical platform reusable pressure cable to the disposable TrueWave transducer connection. 
Connect the bedside monitor's reusable pressure cable for the arterial pressure channel to the red connection of the volume view disposable sensor. Connect the EV1000 clinical platform white and blue reusable pressure cable to the bedside monitor's reusable pressure cable for the central venous pressure channel. Level both the volume view sensor and CVC transducer stopcocks to the patient's phlebostatic axis using a carpenter's level or laser leveler. Turn the reference stopcocks of both the volume view sensor and the CVC transducer toward the pressure tubing and remove the non-vented caps. With the stopcocks open to atmosphere, zero both the bedside monitor and the EV1000 clinical platform. Confirm that the EV1000 clinical platform reads zero complete and the monitor reads zero millimeters mercury on both the arterial and central venous channels. Turn the stopcock off to the reference port on both the sensor and the transducer. Confirm the presence of the appropriate arterial and venous waveforms. Reinstall the non-vented caps on both the volume view sensor and the true wave transducer. Set the blood pressure alarms on the bedside monitor, as well as the displayed parameters on the EV1000 clinical platform. Volume view catheter preparation. After the volume view femoral arterial catheter is inserted and the volume view sensor is set up, connect the volume view sensor's pressure tubing to the volume view catheter. Aspirate and flush the line with a syringe, removing any residual air before flushing residual blood to the patient. Confirm that the appropriate arterial pressure tracing and reading is on the EV1000 clinical platform and the bedside monitor. Thermistor Manifold Preparation Before priming the thermistor manifold, confirm the proper placement of the CVC. Prime the thermistor manifold with normal saline using a lure lock tip syringe. Prime both ports to evacuate air. Connect the thermistor manifold to any port of the CVC catheter. Connect the inline thermistor cable from the EV1000 clinical platform to the inline thermistor manifold connection next to the CVC pressure transducer port. Connect the CVC transducer pressure tubing to the side port on the thermistor manifold. The free port on the thermistor manifold is used for the syringe containing the TPTD bolus. Confirm that the appropriate CVC pressure tracing and reading is on the EV1000 clinical platform and the bedside monitor. TPTD bolus prep. TPTD syringe boluses are usually 15 or 20 milliliter volumes of sodium chloride. Syringes can be prepared and placed in an ice bath or refrigerated at a recommended minimum temperature of 15 degrees Celsius while maintaining sterility of the bolus. As an alternative, a small 100 milliliter sodium chloride bag can be kept in refrigeration at a minimum temperature of 15 degrees Celsius, from which three to five individual 15 or 20 milliliter syringes can be prepared for the TPTD measurement. Additionally, one 60 milliliter syringe may also be used, injecting only 15 or 20 milliliter boluses at a time. Connect the TPTD syringe directly to the free port of the thermistor manifold when delivering the bolus. TPTD measurement. Touch the clinical actions button and then touch thermodilution to start the TPTD procedure. Select the desired injectate volume on the drop-down menu, 10, 15, or 20 milliliters. Select lung resection, if appropriate according to patient history, and select the descriptor of the lung portion removed. Touch Start Set. 
weight is highlighted until the thermal baseline is reached. Connect a pre-chilled syringe with normal saline and appropriate injectate volume to the free port on the thermistor manifold. The prompt to inject will appear on the screen when the thermal baseline is reached. Then you may inject the pre-selected amount of chilled normal saline using a rapid, smooth, continuous method. Remove injectate syringe to prevent back bleeding into the syringe. Watch the EV1000 screen to observe the thermal washout curve and the prompt to perform the next injection. A minimum of three injections is recommended. If needed, a total of six injections may be performed. Edit and view TPTD values. Touch Review. Touch each washout curve you would like to remove. A red X will appear over each waveform selected, removing it from the averaged values. The computer will edit out boluses that are associated with an alert or warning and have an X over the bolus. Touch Accept when you are done reviewing the washout curves. The average value will be used as the volume view CO calibration for continuous CO and for the volumetric TPTD values. The TPTD screen appears with the measured and calculated values for ICI, intermittent cardiac index, GEDI, global end diastolic volume index, ELWI, extravascular lung water index, GEF, global ejection fraction, ISVI, intermittent stroke volume index, ITBI, intrathoracic blood volume index, PVPI, pulmonary vascular permeability index, and ISVRI, intermittent systemic vascular resistance index. Once accept has been selected after editing the boluses, the continuous arterial pressure-based cardiac output will be calibrated and only the continuous values configured for display on the monitor will appear. The EV1000 clinical platform, when used with the volume view set, offers a complete, unified monitoring system that provides a holistic view of clinically validated parameters. Experience what you need, when you need it, with the EV1000 clinical platform from Edwards Life Sciences.